I'm gonna head into is jackknife sit-ups. So get on the floor, get flat like this. Okay, for your feet off the ground, and then you wanna go up onto your butt, and you're just trying to connect. Make yourself into a V, just like that. Hold yours for a little bit, go back down, hold it, go back down. Make sure to keep your feet off the ground the entire time. Just like that. Okay, we're going to the last five seconds. I kind of fucked up on that one. Yeah, for good measure. Okay, the next move we're heading to is the side hip raises. Make sure to get your breath in your nose, out to your mouth. Putting your hands in your hips helps. Putting your hand above your head just like this helps. Just to open up that airway. Okay, now it's time to start. I actually started too late, but <laughs> I'll make you work. Okay, just like this on your side, your elbow, and then go up just like that. I'm gonna go with it one or just gonna start it late. Okay. We got it on that side, the other side. I'm gonna go into the to the 15 second mark. Just because I start it late. Just like that. Keep on going. The next move we're gonna move to is reverse crunches. We're still off on our butt. It's on our back, I mean. Put your hands in up behind, below your butt bone, or above your butt bone on your side, and you're just gonna curl up just like that. Make sure to squeeze when you go in, and then go back out. Squeeze. We just don't last 10 seconds. Keep going, hanging on. You got this shit. Three, two, there we go. Now the fourth move, moving to, it's just a easy 30 second plank. You can rest or you can just jump straight into it. I'm gonna take my rest. We got 15 more seconds left. Make sure to breathe. Remember to put your hands above your head or to your side. So make sure your airways are open. It's the last five seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and get position. And then go. Make sure to keep your butt down. Tighten your core. But try to your shoulders also. Something I see a lot of people don't do. We got 15 seconds. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and we're done. Good job, man. Y'all are doing amazing. If you're following along with this workout, you're already almost one quarter of the way through. The next thing we're gonna move into is side to side planks. We got 11 seconds left. I hope you are enjoying this workout, feeling this burn, because I'm definitely feeling it. Get in position, and then get into it. In this movie, you're gonna work on trying to force your hip to touch the ground. If you can, hold it a little bit. Go back down. Go into that other plank position. Make sure to not sag your hips when you're going back up. You got five more seconds. Hold it. Plank position. Hold it. Plank position. You got 30 second rest right here. The next thing we're going to is leg raises. Take that 30 seconds to make sure to breathe. I know this is burning, but keep on pushing. Y'all are doing amazing.
Okay, five more seconds. Just get in position. Okay, here we go, just like this. Keep it low. A lot of people like to go up all the way, but just keep it just like that, where it's just six inches above the ground. So that way your core is engaged the entire time. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two. Okay. We got 30 seconds to rest. The next thing we're gonna move to is a hollow body hold. We're gonna be in the same position. So we're gonna have our arms out. Make sure to breathe, get your breath back. Whew. Your abs are probably burning just like mine, but keep with it. We need bitches around in the Calistrates community. Let's get down on the ground again. Keep your feet about six inches above the ground. Put your hips in posterior pelvic tilt by shifting your hips and rotating them forward. And then push your arms as long as humanly possible. I know this hurts. I'm burning right now, to be honest. But you got this. Last five seconds. Three, two, one. Good job. Whew. I know you're burning because I'm burning. So, thanks for moving to a straight on to plank the elbow plank was actually an easy move. So, I'm gonna go ahead and breathe, shake it off. Let's finish off these last moves strong. So, we're going to the elbow plank and the serum plank. I'm gonna start in the elbow plank. Y'all can start in the serum plank if you want to. So, let's get this rolling. And you're just gonna go. From here, go back down, and then go back down, and then go back up. Y'all got this. Ten more seconds. There we go. Good job, guys. Just keep on going. Got 30 seconds to rest. We have two more moves. And then you are almost halfway through this workout. Give yourself a pat on the back if you made it this far. You are doing fucking amazing. We're gonna be doing upright seated leg raises. This is actually another easy move. And it's a great move for your beginner. So go ahead and get in this position. Just like that. You're just gonna lift up your legs, crunch it up. This is a great move to practice for the L set. Make sure to keep your legs straight. We got 10 more seconds. Keep on pushing, guys. Five, four, three, two, whoo. Shit. <laughs> Dang. See these abs? They're burning. They're tight. The last move we got is shoulder taps. It's a very basic, easy move. And this is how we're gonna finish off this. After you get done with this set, y'all can take one to two minutes in between to the next set. So let's go ahead and get in position. Straight arm plank. And then let's go. Everybody keep on pushing. I'm about to finish the first set. You're almost halfway through this workout. And then you're done. You're halfway. Go ahead and give me a high five. If you want a full workout with workouts just like this customized just for you, then sign up for my coaching application. It's gonna be in the only link down below. Subscribe to the channel if you found this valuable. And also, if you wanna find out how to program your own workouts into your own things, you can check out this video right here, and I'll see y'all next time.